helicopters are one of the weapons and equipment that every country needs in large quantities. This equipment can not only perform transportation tasks, but also complete rapid support and strike against the enemy. Armed helicopters are also known as tanks because of their excellent mobility and anti-tank capabilities. During the Gulf War, there was a famous highway of death in Iraq. The road stretching for hundreds of kilometers was full of destroyed armored vehicles, tanks and other armored equipment. American Apache Helicopter Gunship Because of the excellent record, armed helicopters have also become an indispensable part of the weapons and equipment of various countries. And everyone has also developed this star weapon. When it comes to gunships, two of the most famous models in the world are undoubtedly the American Apache and the Chinese Human Torch. As a powerful equipment of the US military, Apache enjoys a high reputation around the world and is known as an air killer. However, in recent years, the dominance of Chinese armed helicopters is gradually rising. The breakthroughs in performance and technology of the Chinese Wuzhi series represented by the Thunderbolt have attracted the attention of the world. Recently, a piece of news that shocked the global military community came out. China's armed helicopter Thunderbolt is rising to surpass Apache. This exciting news has aroused widespread concern and discussion. In the past, the Wuzhi-10 was the first dedicated armed helicopter of the Chinese army. Due to insufficient power and weak armor, it had a certain gap compared with the Apache in terms of equipment. However, through comprehensive upgrades and technological innovations, the Wuzhi-10 has taken on a new look and has become a very powerful helicopter achieving direct benchmarking against Apache. This brand new Wuzhi-10 uses a turboshaft 16 engine independently developed by China, with a power of about 1,600 kilowatts, which has significantly improved its power. In addition, after redesign, the armor of Wuzhi-10 can be reinstalled, and more advanced weapon systems can also be fully equipped. Even, it can be equipped with a millimeter wave fire control radar which further improves the attack range and accuracy. At the same time, the new engine exhaust port of Wuzhi-10 exhausts upwards, which effectively reduces the infrared signal and further improves its performance. These technological breakthroughs and upgrades have enabled the Wuzhi-10 to have an attack capability comparable to that of the Apache helicopter. Like the Apache, the Wuzhi-10 can carry 16 missiles and has a strong performance in ground-to-ground -ground missions. It is particularly worth mentioning that China has also developed the Tianyin-90 air-to-air missile specifically for the Wuzhi-10, which has greatly enhanced its air combat capability and made its combat effectiveness far surpass the Stinger missile used by the US Apache. This means that on the battlefield, China's armed helicopter Thunderbolt has become an air killer that cannot be ignored. The upgrade and performance improvement of Wuzhi-10 is not accidental. As the first dedicated armed helicopter for the Chinese army, its development aims to fill the gap in this field in China. In the past, China was relatively backward in the field of armed helicopters, which limited the PLA's combat capabilities on the battlefield. Therefore, the development and upgrade of Wuzhi-10 is a microcosm of China's military technology catching up. And it is also an important step in the modernization of the Chinese military. China has poured a lot of scientific research and technical resources into the development of Wuzhi-10. Not only the upgrade of the engine, but also the use of graphene materials by Chinese scientists to reduce the weight of the armor and improve the level of protection on the helicopter. This technological breakthrough not only improves the maneuverability and flexibility of the Wuzhi-10, but also greatly reduces the threats to pilots and key parts, making the helicopter more survivable on the battlefield. It is worth mentioning that Wuzhi-10 has not only achieved great success in China, but its export version Wuzhi-10ME has also attracted the attention of the international market. Its export unit price is only one-third of that of Apache. But it can provide the same or even stronger performance, which makes it highly competitive in the international military equipment competition. Because of this, not only is China's domestic demand increasing, Many countries have also turned their attention to this Chinese armed helicopter with excellent performance and affordable price. The rise of Wuzhi-10 does not only mean the enhancement of China's military strength, but also represents China's rapid development in military technology and industry. 
through continuous research and development and innovation. Chinese military enterprises have gradually got rid of the dependence on foreign technology and become important participants in the global military equipment market. This not only enhanced China's international influence, but also brought new variables to the international military balance. The rise of China's armed helicopter Thunderbolt marks China's breakthrough and development in the field of military equipment. Through upgrades and technological innovations, Wuxi-10 successfully surpassed Apache and became an air killer with outstanding performance. This not only enhances the combat capability of the Chinese military, but also demonstrates China's strength in military technology and industry. With the continuous development and innovation of Chinese military enterprises, we have reason to believe that China's armed helicopter Thunderbolt will continue to play an important role on the world stage and bring new changes to the international military structure. The turmoil in the current international situation has caused many countries to strengthen their armaments, especially the demand for arms in the Middle East countries. At this year's Zhuhai Airshow, Chinese-made equipment was favored by the Middle East countries. It is even reported that Saudi Arabia alone order about 4 billion US dollars in arms, involving 300 Rainbow 4 UAVs, 15 sets of YJ-21E air-to-surface missiles and multiple sets of Silent Hunter laser air defense systems, as well as the production line of Scorpion UAVs. Single item if the purchase is not enough. Replace it with package purchase. Now there is good news again. According to a report by the US Media Tactical Report on December 19, Saudi Arabia is negotiating to purchase China's Wuxi-10 armed helicopters, and said, the current negotiations are progressing smoothly. A rather surprising thing, it also means that Saudi Arabia purchased Chinese equipment again after packing and purchasing at the Zhuhai Airshow, including Wuxi-10 in the procurement plan.